Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to this video whose purpose is to lead you in a celebration of the Lord's Supper. This video will follow much the same format as we did last week, um, where there will be a slide for me to pray, and then there'll be a slide with an image on it to guide you in meditation as you take the emblems of the supper. Um, and the image will stay on the screen for about 10 seconds. If you need more time than that, please feel free to pause this video to give you plenty of time to contemplate what the Lord has done. Um, after 10 seconds or so, I'll move to the next slide and say another prayer. And then another image will show up um, and you can take the next emblem and then there'll be a closing prayer. Prior to all that, I want to do a little bit of meditative work to guide us into the celebration of the Supper. And I'd like to begin, at risk of my embarrassment, by singing a song that we used to sing a lot when I was a child growing up in Iowa City. I don't know that we've sung it much here. Um, it's a song that means a lot to me, and I'll, I'll try not to get choked up as I sing. It's one that goes to the very heart of the, of the greatest passion of my life, the return of Christ, and what the Supper has to do with that. So I'll sing through it once, and then I'll just talk briefly about it, and then I'll uh, lead you in prayer. Um, if you know the song and would like to sing along with me, by all means, please join me as we sing together. By Christ redeemed in Christ restored, we keep the memory adored and show the death of our dear Lord until he come. His body given in our stead is seen in this memorial bread, and so our feeble love is fed until he come. And thus that dark betrayal night with the last advent we unite in one blessed chain of loving right until he come until the trump of god be heard until the ancient graves be stirred and with a great commanding word the lord shall come O oh, blessed hope with this elate, let not our hearts be desolate, but strong in faith and patience wait until he come. This song means a lot to me um, because it reminds me of what we're doing when we gather for the Lord's Supper, or in this case, as we take it in our homes. We remember the sacred memory, the adored memory of what Christ has done for us, and we show his death until he comes again. We remember his body as we take the bread. And it feeds our ability to love, weak as it is in comparison to his, making us stronger and more like him until he comes again. We unite with those who took it that first night, the night when the Lord was present in body to interpret the symbols to us. We are united with them who took it then, by a blessed chain of loving ritual, a rite is a ritual, and this is what we do here, and it ties us back to then, and also forward to until he come. Because this, this is our great hope, 
We take this to settle ourselves into the truth that one day the trumpet blast will shake the earth and all of the graves will break open and give up their dead because the Lord will command it when he comes. And so we settle ourselves into this hope. And in the darkness that steals hope or tries to, we fill ourselves up with elation and reject desolation because of the faith that he has put into us. And in patience, we bear it all because we know that he will come because it is written for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Will you pray with me? Oh, Father God, we live in a great and burning hope that no trouble can ever take away. We settle ourselves into this hope again as we remember the body of the Lord. And as we take this bread, though apart, together, we settle ourselves into the hope of what Jesus Christ has done for us. In his death, he has defeated death for us who are dying and rescued us and made us alive. God, please bless this bread and bless us as we eat it and as we announce his death until he comes. For it is in the holy name of the living Jesus that we pray. Amen. Will you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, blood was shed to save our blood. And in this cup, we remember and commune with, with the Lord who gave his blood as a ransom for us. We take into ourselves this fruit of the vine that we might be cleansed in the blood of Jesus afresh and anew until he comes again. God, may that day be soon. Please bless this cup and bless we who drink it. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, this meal ties us both to what Jesus has done for us in the past and to the hope that he might come again. For as often as we take this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim his death until he comes. The dead do not come, but Jesus is not dead. And one day because he lives, so will all of the dead. We remember and proclaim that by what we have just done. May we live lives marked by that now and forever. And come soon, Lord Jesus. Come quickly. Until then, until you come, may we live as your people. And amen.